Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I've got a No Man's Sky video for you. Now, as you know, the new trailer showed new stations and a new ship. Now, not so long ago, inside of the game files, Hello Games, for whatever reason, left in the st space station type of bees inside of the game files. Now you could access these new stations using a mod that was put onto Nexus Mods. And yep, I'm going to be hitting that up and showing you those stations. So the mod I believe was by that bomber boy, but it could be wrong. But yeah, I would also put a link to the original video up in the top right corner. You can hit that up for the original video. And if you do go to that original video and go to the video description, there should be all the links you need there. I will try and transpose them into this new video too. So anyway, I'm just going to cut out the different segments of the station. Yes, I'm not going to be in the same gear because this is an older video. Okay, people inside the view of us. So yeah, you're going to watch the segments of just the new stations, people. And I'll be right back with you in a moment. Right, look at that. <laughs> it's a different space station. Indeedy doody it is. Okay. Well, that's pretty darn freaking awesome, isn't it? Let's go into um, first ship view. There we go, into there. So we can see the scale a little bit better. Holy fudge, yes. Well, that's a little bit more impactful, isn't it, people in the view of us? I wonder if I can fly through here. Let's see if it's got hitboxes all done nicely. Ooh, yes! Holy fudge, that's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. How awesome is that, people in the universe? And look, it's got rear thrusters on it. So this is something that I noticed on all the designs of these new space stations. They all have engines, where the old space stations didn't have engines. And although they're not sort of making the space stations move, it does make you think, well... Does it mean that they might be able to transition between realms? I know, every single time there's an update, every single time I go into freaking speculation mode, every single time I manage to link it back to the freaking void and the realm of glass. But it does make you wonder if we st Okay, well it's quite round in, in sort of configuration. It's quite small in configuration. It's kind of got this barrel sort of thing going on with it. I don't know whether the first system was a callback system or not. I wasn't really paying much attention. Well, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. That's really, that's really quite sweet, isn't it? Let's fly through here then. Fly out through the opposite side. Meow. Let's spin this around. Let's have a look at the outside of this one. Okay, yeah, it's got lots of thrusters in it. I, I've got a feeling that maybe the first station that we saw was maybe a callback system. And a, a station, perhaps. Yeah. That's quite a tidy little sort of station, isn't it, that one? Right, well, let's just go into camera mode. Boom. Let's get rid of all that on the screen. And there we go. I'll take a photo of that one. Holy fudge. This one's a bit freaking spiky, isn't it? It's very spiky. Okay, I like it. Now, that's really quite something, isn't it? That does look freaking cool, doesn't it? I really hope that they do something with the interiors to make them feel a little bit more race-specific. I'm going to try flying through this opening up here. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> now, they look very much like the Colossal Archives, don't they? Oh, dear. Can't do that. All right, fine. I'm sure we can fly through this opening here, then. But yeah, let's, let's go for it. Oh God. Well, there's quite a lot of little pylons in here. Well, made it though. Brilliant. Okay, let's see if there's engines on the back of this one too, people. There is. There's engines on the back of this one as well. So it does seem that these new stations kind of feel like, I don't know, if we put the station override, do you think it might warp them to another system or something? Sort of like into another reality. Yeah, I know. It's, I shouldn't speculate, but I just can't help myself. Can't help myself, people. It does look freaking great, though, doesn't it? That does look really cool. It does look more like a spaceship. It does look more like a space station. Right, okay, well, let's try Gek. Let's... Oh, fudging heck. 
OK, well, this is more triangular, isn't it? That's really quite cool. What the actual flying fudge, mate? OK, uh, let's go into camera mode on this one. Let's put the sun behind me over there. Boom. Let's spin this back around. Oh, my days. That's insanely big. Holy fudge, a nori. Well, I was I was under the impression that a lot of these um, new stations only had the colour green, but that looks like it's got red on it, doesn't it? Take a picture of that one. Wow. Okay, cool. I think I've got that one. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't get it. Oh, let's fly fly away a little bit and let's see if we can get a bit more distance. I want to get this whole freaking thing in. I didn't take a picture of the Viking one, so we'll go back to the Viking system in a bit anyway, people. And see if it is spiky. But then again, this one's fairly spiky as well. Maybe it's not a theory. Who knows? Let's stick the sun over there. Yeah, look, it's got a, it's definitely got a red and green sort of panel to it there when the sun hits it. That is freaking epic. I guess this photo done. Righto, people. Well, this is a Viking area of space, and this one looks very different from the previous Viking one that I went to. So I don't know whether that's a working theory or not, peeps. But look at this, this one's got even like little mini side thrusters on the side of it. And it's got that ring around it like the Gek one did. So I don't know whether this is actual race specific or what. I mean, they it could just be completely random. But then I think stations always have been, haven't they? They haven't been very race specific. I was really hoping that they might add something more into it. It's like it's got all this sort of... An illusion that it's got all these windows and lights all over it. It almost feels like it should be a lot more hospitable than what we're seeing inside. Now, also I'm thinking they look a little bit like the actual Colossal Archives, don't they? They really do. Part of me wonders whether the Colossal Archives are now going to beam data up to the stations, and the stations are going to beam data up to these, meaning that maybe the stations and maybe the Colossal Archives might share something in common. Who freaking knows? Anyways, I'm going to get a photo of this one, so let's, uh, let's just move away from it a little bit. Let's try and get a little bit of depth of field into this thing. Let's spin it around, and uh, let's uh, get a photo of that. Holy heck. That is pretty darn cool, isn't it? Right, camera mode. And take that away. Spin over there. Hit the sun. Yeah, see what I mean? They're all sort of green, aren't they, in colour? That's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Right, let's get a photo of that then. Well, that's all fixed. It's got those sort of gnarly things sticking out the front of it. So let's uh, go into your camera mode. Let's spin this around. Heck yes. Look at that for a picture, people. So it is the new station, but they're still flying in through the ceiling, which makes me wonder whether they might do something with the interiors of these as well, is what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I'd like to think, or well, like to hope that they are anyway, people. Well, there you go, people. So, all the new stations that I managed to see while I was playing about with that mod. Obviously, there could be other sort of patterns or configurations of station that might not be the full repertoire. And yeah, they are pretty darn cool from the outside. It just makes me wonder whether the different races would have different interiors. I am hoping that, you know, you're going to be able to tell as soon as you fly in that it's a Gek station or it's a Viking station. Yeah, I'm hoping that there's some sort of race-specific interiors. I'm hoping for at least three different types of interior, is what I'm saying. If they're all the same as the current stations and they, they've they got no sort of rhyme or reason, they've not really got much personality to them, then I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity. But at the same time, you know, a new interior, exterior is quite welcome. But as you can see there in just those segments of me flying through space and encountering a few, after you've seen a few, you start to see patterns and repetition. So I wouldn't say if it is just a cosmetic overhaul, yes, it's going to look lovely visually. And yes, they feel a lot more optimised. I mean, you could actually fly through them. They've got engines on the back. They, they've got a lot more gravitas to them, the stations now. Reaching your first station, if you've never played No Man's Sky before, and you take off from the planet and you fly to the station, you see that in space. It's going to be so more impactful for a new, newcomer to the game. It really is. 
that they are pretty magnificent inside of that and the first couple of that you encounter after the update you're going to be like oh my god these are these are fantastic yeah they blow the old ones out of the water they really do peeps anyway i hope you enjoyed that look back at the old video i've got so many videos that you know it's just buried in all of them so i figured i'd, I'd cut out all the best bits and stick them up so you can at least see them anyway people that's everything i've got for you today and until next time you guys have been freaking awesome i've been the captain of the steeds Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again. Cheerio.